Today we're going to show you how an invoice is made in the SAC system and how the bills are settled and the payment is collected. So we use uh, admin as the user and put the password in. And choose the company, the, the current financial year, click OK. Open the invoicing screen. Click add, put the customer name, you can search by the name customer okay, test. You can put the item name, say item A. Item B. Item C. Assume that you're doing this invoice in the month of uh, June. Choose the credit and save. Now the bill has been saved for 1,100 KD and the invoice number is H2. Prepare another invoice for the same customer. Same month of August. It's going to be another invoice in the month of August. Another invoice in the month of November. Now, if you go to the sales report, you can see the pending bills for this customer. Let's see all the customers. See test customer H2, H3, and H4 are the invoices. And these are the amount 1,100, 1,400, and 1,250. Take a printout. So if you want to print, either you can print a summary or you can print a detailed report, a monthly report, let's say. And if you print in a different way, by document number or invoice numbers, you can get reports like this. So this bill was due for 202 days. This one was 132. And this one was for 30 days. I suppose if the customer wants to settle the bills, you can get the financial entry. In bank deficit, you're receiving a check from the customer. Let's say check number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Test customer, bill rights allocation. So let's say it's settling a partial bill of uh, this one for yeah, 750. So the system will detect this 750 from his bill H4. So you save this one. We'll go back to the pending bills report. So in this bill H4, system says that you already received 750 from this bill. One of the summary. So it will show that 500 is left on this bill. Same way, you can do the other settlement as well. 
Test 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 number test test number test one. Bill Weiss is selecting, selecting this bill. And this is a total of 1,900 for H4 and H3. H3. Okay. Go back to the reports. Okay. And if you want to print this, you can print this one. Like last, last time. time. So, so it gives you only the pending bills on now, now H2, H2, which is due already, already 202 days. days. And if the customer is getting the bill as well. This customer is so only what is pending. pending. And that, and that he is entering the, the partial, partial amount of this one. one. Let's say 600. 450 is less than this last bill. Okay. 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 